Hi friends, there is a difference between earning consistently and earning at once. At once you may earn like you may get a good client or you may get a good job. But if you are not consistent with increasing your skills on a regular basis, if you are not consistent on improving yourself on a regular basis, then soon you will see that your income will match your expertise, your income will match your skills. So what you can do in that case? You can do to increase your skills, you can read a lot of books, you can see in your niche, in your category, what other people are doing, what type of things they are going through, what skills they are experiencing, what knowledge they are gathering over a period of time. You can just see and understand that if they can do, then I also can do. Your skills and your experiences should match your income what you are getting as of now. Maybe you get a very good client, but you don't match the client's expertise and expectations. If you don't match the client's expectation, if you don't match the uh, job which you are working in, if your salary doesn't match the client's expectation in job, then you may see that soon your income will reduce because your job will be gone because you are not expect you are not reaching the client's expectation you are not matching with the client's expectation so what you can do you have to do a lot of effort you have to apply a lot of hard work you need to keep on increasing your skills so that you can ex you can see that you your growth is increasing drastically and you should match with your client's expectation that is the most important thing that i wanted to tell you okay you need to see what is a client's requirement and how can i deliver it at my best so that client will think that my work is at a top notch not top notch in work ethics as well you have to understand your work ethics and what is the skills that drives you from within which gives you inspiration from within you have to understand that and you have to work on your one skill and you have to keep on increasing because you can't work on multiple things at a time right you need to catch one skill and you have to gain expertise into that and you can see that your growth is increasing okay so this is the thing that i wanted to tell you and next thing is main thing is uh, your the society or surrounding which you are living around okay that is an important thing which i wanted to tell you the society will tell you that this is the income which you are earning because you have learned a lot but the consistency is the most important thing still how long you are earning that income and how you are increasing that income okay so that is important thing and to increase that income you need to work on your skills you have to be consistent and you have to do little investment in yourself as well as in assets which will grow your money these two investments are very much important one investment is within yourself by increasing your skills by reading books that you can do second investment will be your assets assets can be anything stocks shares mutual fund anything which is going on in your mind those are those all skills you can invest upon you can see okay, how can you grow your asset because if you are earning and if you are just keeping it aside then it will not increase it will be staying there in your almira where you are keeping the money the main thing is keep aside certain amount of cash which is necessary as a form of emergency fund and rest all money you should invest which is the extra money i can say which is not required as of now you can invest to grow because you don't know how many years you are going to live maybe you, you can live up to 100 years just imagine if you are living up to 100 years then after 60 years retirement will come then how can you live till 40 more years because our medical science is increasing at a drastic speed and if you see the medical field is increasing at a drastic speed then Till 40 years, how can you survive? Because the, if your current expenses is 20,000 per month, then it will not be same after 60 years because inflation is increasing at a rate of 7%. So just think, after uh, 60 years, your inflation rate will be how much? And how much will be your expenses? It will be near about 1, 1.5 1 lakh rupees is requirement as expense. If your current expense is 20,000, then after 60 years, your expenses will be about 1, 1.5 1 lakh. So you have to invest your money in such a way that after 60 years, you can live comfortably till 40 years. So you have to do some calculations for that. How can you do a calculation? You can uh, go through retirement calculator online. You can see like if you are current expenses is 1 lakh, then how much can I, how much years can I live with that amount of expenses and how much can I save? These all things you need to plan it out. So financial planning is very much important. So along with your education, along with your job, you should work on your financial education. That will help you boost your knowledge. That will help you to boost yourself financially, spiritually, as well as emotionally. So I hope you have liked it. So this is the whole thing which I wanted to tell you in crux that not only work on your skills, skills is important. You have to work hard on it, but you have to earn it consistently so that you can think about your retirement planning. That is the most important thing. After 60 years, how will you earn so that you can live up to next 40 years? So life expectancy may increase in future. We don't know. So we have to match the expense. 
so try to understand it and try to write it down on a piece of paper what all expenses can it be for yourself after 60 years or after, uh, till now also from now onwards till 60 years and after 60 200 years what all things which you will which you are going to buy what are your expenses might be so write it down and you will see how can you plan that thing okay so thank you i hope you have liked my video please like and subscribe thank you